Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of 1 over x minus 1 over x cubed plus square root of 1 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed is equal to 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we suppose that let 1 over x is equal to t. So this equation will become square root of t minus t cubed plus square root of t squared minus t cubed is equal to 1. Now we move this term to the right hand side. So this will become square root of t squared minus t cubed is equal to 1 minus square root of t minus t cubed. Now from here we square both sides. So this uh, square will be considered with the square root and here we are left with the t squared minus t cubed is equal to by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2 a b. This uh, 1 minus uh, root t minus t cubed whole squared will become 1 plus uh, square root of t minus t cubed whole squared minus 2 times 1 times root t minus t cubed. Next t squared minus t cubed is equal to 1. This square will be considered out with this square root and we are left with plus t minus t cubed. This will become negative 2 times root t minus t cubed. Now if we add t cubed to both sides this will be cancelled out and we move this negative 2 times root t minus t cubed to the left hand side and this t squared to the right hand side. So this will become positive 2 times root t minus t cubed is equal to this 1 plus t 1 plus t and this positive t squared will become negative t squared at right hand side. Now we consider this 1 plus t as a single term and we take square of both sides. At left hand side we also take square. So this 2 squared is 4 times this square will be cancelled out and we are left with t minus t cube is equal to this 1 plus t minus t squared whole squared will become 1 plus t whole squared minus 2 times 1 plus t times t squared plus this t squared whole squared will become t to the power 4. Now we distribute this 4, this will become 4 times t minus 4 t cubed is equal to expand this 1 plus t squared, this will become 1 plus 2 times t plus t squared. Negative 2 times t squared times will become negative 2 t squared negative 2 times uh, t squared times this t will become negative 2 t cubed plus uh, t to the power 4. Now we rearrange these terms uh, and move these two terms to the right hand side. We write this t to the power 4 first uh, t to the power 4. And this uh, negative 2 t cubed 
negative 2 t cubed. This negative 4 t cubed will become positive 4 t cubed at the right hand side. And this t squared minus 2 t squared will become negative t squared. And this 2 times t plus 2 times t, this 4 t will become negative 4 t at right hand side plus this 1 is equal to 0. Next, t to the power 4. This negative 2 t cubed plus 4 t cubed will become positive 2 t cubed. This negative t squared t squared plus 2 t minus 4 t will become negative 2 t plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we divide this whole equation by t squared. We divide each term by t squared like this t squared and this term divided by t squared. This negative t squared divided by t squared. This negative 2t divided by t squared. This 1 divided by t squared. 0 divided by t squared. This will become t squared. This 2t uh, cubed over t squared will become plus uh, 2 times t. This will become negative 1 and this will become negative 2 over t plus uh, this uh, 1 over t squared 1 over t squared is equal to 0. Now we combine these two terms uh, t squared and 1 over t squared and we combine these two terms 2t uh, and negative 2 over t. So, this will become t squared plus 1 over t squared plus 2 times t minus 2 over t. In the last we write this negative 1, negative 1 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared plus 2ab. This t squared plus 1 over t squared will become t minus 1 over t whole squared plus 2 times t times 1 over t. And from these two terms we can factor out 2 plus 2 as common factor in bracket left t minus 1 over t minus this 1 is equal to 0. Next t minus 1 over t whole squared. This uh, t will be considered out with this t and first we write this expression plus uh, 2 times uh, t minus 1 over t this plus 2 minus 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. And from here we suppose that that t minus 1 over t is equal to m. So, this equation will become m squared plus 2 times m plus 1 is equal to 0. And this is a perfect square this will become m plus 1 whole squared is equal to 0. If we take square root of both sides this implies that uh, m plus uh, 1 is equal to 0. And if we subtract 1 from both sides this implies that uh, m is equal to negative 1. Now recall that uh, we have supposed uh, t minus 1 over t is equal to m. So this will become t minus 1 over t is equal to negative 1. If we multiply both sides by t, this implies that uh, t squared minus 1 is equal to negative t. Move this negative t to the right hand side, this will become t squared plus uh, t minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we can solve it by quadratic formula. 
according to quadratic formula t is equal to negative b is 1 plus minus the square root of b squared will become 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 next t is equal to negative 1 plus minus this 1 squared is 1 and in negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 will become plus 4 so 1 plus 4 will become root 5 divided by 2 it means uh, from here if we get uh, two values of t t is equal to negative 1 plus uh, root 5 over 2 and t is equal to negative 1 minus root 5 over 2 now recall that we have suppose We have supposed that 1 over x is equal to t. We have supposed that 1 over x is equal to t. And because this 1 over x is positive, this is greater than 0. This t must be greater than 0. This value of t negative 1 minus root 5 over 2 is less than 0. So this will be rejected and we accept only this value of t negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. So this 1 over x is equal to t will become 1 over x is equal to this negative 1 plus root 5 over 2 is same as root 5 minus 1 over 2. And if we take a reciprocal on both sides this implies that x is equal to 2 divided by root 5 minus 1. To rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 5 plus 1 root 5 plus 1. So this will become x is equal to 2 times root 5 plus 1 divided by this will become root 5 squared minus 1 squared this is equal to 2 times root 5 plus 1 divided by this square will be considered out and we are left with 5 minus 1 and this will become x is equal to 2 times root 5 plus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 will become 4 and 2 1 time 2 2 times 4 so the final value of x will be equal to root 5 plus 1 divided by 2 this is the final answer of this problem